It was a wild Tuesday afternoon for Toronto sports fans with both the Leafs and Raptors making late afternoon moves. The Raptors waving Juancho Hernan Gomez and signing free agent Will Barton. For Barton, it was a wild afternoon because just hours after the announcement, he was on the court playing for the Raptors. So what has the last 24 hours been like for you? <laughs> uh, a little hectic, a lot of traveling, uh, no sleep. Uh, but a uh, blessing at the same time. When did you kind of find out this was happening? When you guys found out, really, <laughs> around the same time, maybe a little bit earlier than you guys. Martin, who arrived just hours before the Raptors tipped off against the Bulls on Tuesday night in Toronto, was subbed into the game in the second quarter. There was some familiarity with the team. The 11 year vet used to play on the same team as Raptors assistant coach Earl Watson when they both played in Portland. He was my uh, veteran. I was a rookie in Portland, so I have a very good relationship with him. The six foot five guard played 40 games with Washington this season and scored in double figures 11 times. Barton was waived by the Wizards on February 21st, and other teams were interested in signing the vet, but he believed he can immediately make an impact on the Raptors. I just felt like it was a good opportunity. This is a good team. I feel like I come in and bring some leadership, um, some versatility, some bench playmaking and scoring, and um, you know, just a lot of energy. From one will to another, Leafs William Nylander having a moment with his now former teammate Rasmus Sandin, who was traded to Washington on Tuesday. The Leafs were busy on Tuesday afternoon, making three moves in total. Nylander realizing it's an intense week for the team's GM, Kyle Dubas. Yeah, he's doing a lot of, uh, a lot of good work. Uh, I mean, he hasn't had any days off, so <laughs> uh, probably busy the next couple of days too. What does it tell you about the kind of faith that he's putting this much into bolstering this team? Yeah, I mean, I think this is what it comes down to. It's playoffs, and we we got to get past that first round. So I think that's where, uh, where everybody's mind's at. The Leafs, they're in action tonight in Edmonton. Now, here's a recap of what they did yesterday afternoon. They sent Rasmus Sandin to Washington for Gustafson and a draft pick. Then they sent Pierre Engvall to the Islanders for draft picks and then brought back Luke Shen to the Leafs. He played for the Leafs a couple years ago, bringing him back from the Canucks in exchange for some draft picks. Now, the NHL trade deadline is this Friday. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.